another mystery to solve. I've discovered what seems to be like a mystery to solve. Stars, clearly inspired by the simulation, which are gained by solving puzzles related to these monuments to Pandora, Prometheus, and the Sphinx. Perhaps these stars are somehow related to what Yakut disturbed the astronomical temple. Ah. All right, so there is another star. And then there's also the gold puzzles. Okay. I think that was more like a recording. The entity didn't appear, and the system didn't react either. Stars. Another reflection of the simulation. Stars. Reminds me of Resident Evil 3 with a nemesis running around. Stars. Okay, so there must be another monument. So my understanding and takeaway from that is that um, you get stars from solving monument puzzles in the environment. Cool. Um, okay, so I'm not sure about the Golden Gate at the minute or how to open it, but how about we go and look at this tower and solve our first, th try and solve our first 3D hexahedron puzzle. Then, I don't know, maybe that wisp, solving this wisp will actually um, give me the second one. Possibly. Traminos represented the name of God and God's ability to reshape the world. True, but he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. They just completely obliterated the way I was saying that, didn't they? Out of two stars. Not all things must be balanced. When good is weighed against evil, tip the scale. Petromino. Is that better? Also, Prometheus sounded a lot like Elohim. Just saying. Tremino. Hmm. That ain't right, is it?
I ain't gonna be that one, so... Terrible at the Tetromino Arrangers. Those were actually the only ones I was good at. What? I'm just saying. Tetromino. Like Domino, but Tetromino. Tetrom. A Tetrom Domino. Right? Tetromino. Okay. Tetromino, Tetromino, Tetromino. Alrighty. What will we find in the tower? Purple light. Is that some kind of anti-gravity? I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. What is this? Outer Worlds? beginning, the gods shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? What the hell are you talking about, lady? <laughs> um... Can they be compared? Ah. I didn't want to press that in case it like fast forwarded something and I missed it, so thanks for team spin. But in the beginning, the gods showed humankind out of the clay and of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is close to perfection, the creator or the created? Gods aren't necessarily perfect, right? Because gods are just... Gods are just there. Just because they are like the overseeing entity, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are perfect. So I don't think neither of I think neither of them. Because I'm gonna say neither because perfection is impossible. The man who lives on the plains imagines that the gods dwell on the mountaintop. But if he followed the steep road, he would see his shadow in the clouds beneath. When Prometheus saw that humankind was more alike in nature to the gods than to the animals, he stole the secret of fire from Olympus and shared it with the mortals. Was his theft justified? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no because knowledge must be earned, not given. You have forgotten that all deities reside in the human breast. Angered by the betrayal of Prometheus, Zeus punished humankind by creating Pandora. He gave her a box, and when she opened it, from inside escaped sorrow and suffering. All that remained within was hope. What does this mean?
Those who seek hope should ask themselves why it was imprisoned with the world's evils. Creature of clay, you stand before the fire. Will it make you whole, or will it destroy you? Consider the shadows cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for truth. Guys, look at my stream. The Beam 1K activated is connecting to the pyramid. That looks like a massive amount of power. I mean, what is this freaking witness? We need to talk witness? about what just happened. Thoughts? I'd say there are two distinct issues here. What is the being 1K spoke to? And what is the function of the beam? Let's start with the Sphinx. It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. Presumably the same technology. What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. Was this a sentient being or some kind of recording? Um, I mean, it was reacting with what I was saying. So maybe it was sentient? That doesn't necessarily mean that it's intelligent. Let's assume for a moment that 1K is right and it is intelligent in some sense. What really matters here is what it was trying to achieve by asking those questions. Yeah, I feel like it was testing me. Almost like it's... It's almost like it's a, a second... Um... Almost like going back and trying to see whether or not we are the right personality again. Almost like some of the the trials that we had to go through in the first um, game. Um, Testing you to what? See if you're worthy. That's an interesting thought. You solve the puzzles. You get access to the towers. You enable a beam, and if you do it three times, you get access to the mega structure. Maybe, but why? I don't know. It's a mystery. Don't you like mysteries, Al? Everybody likes a good mystery. You know what I like? Certainty. Um. I mean, yeah, we, we still don't know whether or not they are hostile or whether or not they are going to doom us all. They do seem to be like trying to gather some sort of knowledge and understanding of us and, and who we are. But why? That's interesting. Um... I don't disagree, but I still think we should proceed. 1K, keep solving puzzles. The rest of you, as you were. The rest of you, just carry on walking around doing absolutely nothing. Alrighty. Witness crossover found and completed. Well. On the face of it, they're doing nothing. That's all I got to say about that. Alright, I'm going to go and check. The, um... I'm going to go and check the Golden Gate. Since we picked up two stars, I wonder if... Um, anything changed there, so this way. Thing is, though, it's not the arrow's not flashing on it, so I wonder whether or not it's not able to be accessed at the minute. We'll see.
Get us up here. Oh, we got some things here. Okay, so we got to come back here later then. I think it seems that each of those circles on this door represents a star, I would assume. So we need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 24 stars to open these doors. Which is interesting. I'm, I'm looking also at these. I think we're done here for now. Let's head over to the next site. I'm also looking at like the inscriptions on the door, which is quite interesting. But like the potentially the founder there on the top left with the cap. And then underneath possibly the founder is kind of like creating more new humans. And then we've got like the I wanna say almost like the construction of New Jerusalem here, but Maybe this is a... view of how it should be. Because obviously in New Jerusalem, the dome wasn't finished, so... Yeah, okay. Also some other interesting... Um, indentations at the top there. We'll definitely come back, though, to the... Um, We'll come back to the door after we've found some more... Ooh, or some more dialogue. Yakut. 1K, what's up? Maybe they're for powering up the megastructure? Or maybe they just open it, like keys. Why? No idea. But aren't they gorgeous? Just incredible feats of engineering? We don't have to make up our minds just yet. No, did I maybe miss some dialogue with him earlier on? Possibly. All right, let's mosey on out of here. And I guess we're gonna head back. I guess we've probably got to head back to the central hub first, before we can uh, go to the next area. So we'll see what the uh, our navigation takes us. But that's one area down, at least, on the face of it. So, progress has been made. I know we can go directly to East 2, which is the Wooded Plateau. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Go do a bit more walking simulator. <laughs> I'm sure you're all excited to check out the next site, but while you're there, remember that I'm still trying to fix the rest of the transport system. Maybe there's another one of those labs that Wong K found. If there is, look for more documentation, please. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. All right, so we have four tetra tetrominoes. In this area, I didn't say that again, didn't I? Nearly. Tetra Tetromino's pizza. <laughs> Word spirit. What is it that drives historical processes? It's easy to dismiss the idea of the great man or the great woman, for that matter. When clearly so much is determined by resource distribution, pre-existing political structure, and the randomness of the universe itself. But there is no space left at all for the individual in all of this. Are there no moments when in Hegelian fashion, 
An individual may represent the world, the world spirit itself. Was Napoleon history a horseback or not? But, sorry, was Napoleon history on horseback or not? Or is that in self a form of determinism? Mangus and Augustus to Napoleon from Lincoln to Lenin. There are individuals whose actions seem to drive rather than merely be driven by history. They make bold choices for good or ill that transform entire societies. Or do they? We like to blame them for their failures, but are they not ultimately just expression of histor historical mon moment? But if they are, where is the space for human agency? It sometimes seems to me that all of human history has been that one struggle to carve out a space for free choice against the tides of history and heroes and tyrants. You can choose examples as you will. Are both equally a reflection of that? A greater goal, a greater goal then ought to be extended that freedom to the maximum number of people to become captains of our own fate as much as that is possible in the universe. I stood, stood, stutter, stutter, yeah, I did stutter. I stutter a few times, like this number. I don't know what this number is meaning. Founding two. From Hippatia's Journal, Volume 1, The Founding of New Jerusalem. Day 14. Lampus and Yemo went back to the dam to get more charging equipment. They've not returned yet, which means they're still... We were stretched a little thin since we're still posting guards at all times. Those I think those large herbivores haven't come back yet. And at any rate, Eust Eustathius assures us that they are non-aggressive, but it's better not to make and take any chances, not when there are so few of us and so many of them. Are they talking possibly about cats? Cats aren't really herbivores though, but I don't know. Possibly not. Um, cats aren't really that large either. Uh, anyway, Athena and Cornelius and Eustathius spent most of their time drawing up plans and arguing in a friendly manner, but still arguing still. The rest of us are managing to tune them out pretty well. It's like background noise after a while. Something in secret. We have started construction on the first habitat. It's going to be a temporary structure for now, but we'll all be glad to get out of the rain. So, what are you doing here, Trevor? Why are you trying to save the world? Well, look, I think humanity is awesome. I love humanity. As a species, we're great. I mean, our track record is pretty mixed, but have you seen everyone else? I mean, what did you do today, animal? Oh, I ate some leaves, sniffed my own butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. Or, you know, I tore this other animal limb from limb, sniffed my friend's butt, crapped myself, and went extinct. They really don't do anything interesting. I mean, you don't see animals directing Big Trouble in Little China. Birds can go, tweet, tweet, but it ain't exactly the White Album. I mean, they can't even make a good cheeseburger, for Christ's sakes. They have no art, no cuisine, no pleasure. Animals are nice to look at, but you wouldn't want to be one. Except maybe a cat. I could be a cat. Everybody loves the cats. kind of looks a bit like dilapidated and ruined doesn't it well that was one of the um, abandoned tests then but I guess not well I've been like Perfect place to jump off the edge. Whoopsie. Solve puzzles and don't die, not. That is our objective. The devs had to bail you out?
Um, okay. Keep an eye on that. Well, I'm trying to remember that um, receiver there. I'm sure, it's going to be of importance at some point for a secret. Just happened to see the dotted line as I was traveling around there. Hey, we found one of the abandoned puzzles. Keeping connections. What are we working with? What is this thing? The driller. Oh boy. Just pause here for a minute while Team Spin is uh, at his ad. I feel like I maybe should have found the lab or something to um, kind of uh, understand this mechanic better, but it seems pretty straightforward. You can. Welcome back, by the way, he's been. Um, we can kind of keep a a hole and take connections through, I guess. So here's what I'm thinking. We're gonna create a connection here. take this out, aren't we? Possibly. Need a red here. You didn't get an ad? Oh, okay. Bonus. However, we probably are going to want that other connector. So let's Bootstrap. Yo, LB. LB. Gifted 12 months of tier one. LB, you're crazy, man. You're crazy. Dude, I appreciate that. Thank you very much for the 12 month of gifted tier one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Too kind. Ah, clever. Um, I was looking for the uh, the entity, but I couldn't see it anywhere. Also looking if I can see that other connector from anywhere, but I don't think so at the minute. So, um, ba -ba -ba. let's head on around the back here, and we'll take a look to see if we're missing anything secret. Right, 
can't climb up the slopes. I'm guessing this is kind of where the um, cars we go in that direction for now, unless we can get some higher ground. Sure we can. There is a car. But we don't follow paths. Interesting rock formation. A tank? Yeah. Humble machine made by ancient humans just killed each other. Humans and destroy infrastructure despite their crude appearance. Great ingenuity went into creation of these despicable machines. Fun fact, the uh, my kind of like home city, well not from a city, but the, the city from my county is actually the birthplace of uh, the, the tank birthplace. Fun fact. Or at least the birthplace of the British tanks at least. Turn into the jungle, or well, jungle of forest. I said jungle, I instantly thought that weird moment where I started singing, walking through the bamboo um, thicket in the witness. It's a blast from the past. Everything feels a lot more hidden on um, in this area, but I think that's mainly just because of the the forest, because everything is like such such dense foliage. Kind of hard to get like a proper grip on where you are at times. I think it's going to be very easy to like, get lost here. I see statue. Okay, you want another green connector? Uh, Marks didn't realize it marked the stars on your maps. That's interesting. Interesting and very helpful. Exploring through the forest. I'm guessing if you play with the question marks on there, that's what the, the question marks appear as them. I'm guessing. Is this an actual puzzle? Or is this a lost puzzle? Lost puzzle. Loop. Loop de loop. Alrighty. Is this aperture science? Okay, so you can't set these up interestingly in front of the barrier fields. Ah, okay. 
This could be pretty neat. If this is going to do what I think it's going to do. Okay. It didn't do what I think it was going to do, but it was still pretty neat. That might actually need to be my first reset, though, to be fair. I didn't expect it to turn around, if I'm completely honest. I kind of expected it to just kind of keep going and, like, keep drilling holes. So... Okay. No. Looks like Prometheus has given us a way to circumvent some of these puzzles. So each puzzle has a back door. I guess the mythological Prometheus was kind of a trickster. So that tracks. Okay, is there a is there a reset button or do I just restart checkpoint? Same as the original. Okay, same difference. So we take this out here. It means we can free up the nectar. Okay, so I think what it wants me to do instead then, I wasn't like massively off the mark, I don't think. Hmm. Uh, we don't need the box anymore though. Just need to get two items through to the other side. That's all we need to do, right? So... That's right, I do this, and all this is going to achieve is sending the box back through there. Hence the loop is created, because I've just done exactly what I did. I, I'm back to the starting point. Okay. seeing why this is called so. Maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way around, though. What I actually should have done is put the connector through here first, possibly. And 
then from here... I can open that. And then I don't need to worry about the that anymore, because I can just do that. Send the cube over to there. There we go. The loop is broken. Future reference. If a puzzle has an associated achievement, you can unlock Mephi's terminal to reset it to unsolved the state and then do the achievement. This place might be meant to so test you're saying somehow, there's a hidden achievement? There's a hidden achievement here. Or well, not hidden, but that. an achievement here. I read between the lines potentially. I don't, I've kind of got out of the habit of looking at achievements now until I've finished a playthrough of a game, like a casual let's play. So, um, yeah, I probably won't like look at anything like that until afterwards, so. It's a good point, LB. I will have a look at that in a moment. So I was jabbering on. Remember, it says that many of these structures now are not strictly functional. The sense of aesthetics of beauty here. This place might be meant to test us somehow, but perhaps there's more to it than that. Find this secret lab. He was a secret lab. How would you be hiding? The answer? In a secret place. Really? Yeah, still the same, like, two things on there, so. Then she indicates that we need to find all of the stars to unlock those. Or at least a set of stars. We begin with the self, because that is what determines our existence as individuals. But the self cannot exist without that which surrounds it. The citizen lives within the city, and the city lives within the cosmos. So now we must apply the principle we have discovered to the wider world and ask, if man is like a machine, could it be that the universe is similar in nature? And if so, what follows from that fact? This lab is hidden. Where is that lab? Da, 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 da. Where is the lab?
So these monuments represent each of the entities. Pandora, the Sphinx, and Prometheus. Makes sense, I guess. For a given value of sense. Two, four, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Okay. Um, I wonder if this is actually telling me something to do with those puzzles. Also, Okay. There was a um, connection line in the sky. There it is. Oh, it's there. Is that the same one I saw before? I don't think it is. I think the, like, literally the only thing I haven't found is a secret lab. <laughs> oh, you couldn't make it up. You honestly couldn't make it up. Looks like you found another lab. You would be correct, Jakob. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I expected. What were they doing here? And who are they? Yeah, that's locked. Interesting. I wonder if we can open that somehow. A couple of palm readers in here. This kind of gives me vibes of uh, the Turing test, actually. Like, the way these labs are kind of put together. Untitled Draft. So, Edwald identified the... Tetromino with the pet tetragrammation tetragram grammaton grammaton of and the Greek word for God because to him the mathematical process of tet tetromino reflected God's ability to reshape the world without breaking its laws. Elohim, in his desire to impose meaning on the simulation, which was his priority function as a storyteller after all, took Edwald's Heretic, heretical ideas and integrated them as the sigils of his name. But despite all these layers of obfuscation, there is some kind of truth hidden behind hidden in all this. The world, the world really is, in a sense, made up of minute of minute parts that can be combined, and recombined without breaking in the underlying laws. Everything that exists is made of the same fundamental materials, and those materials are brought into existence by the same fundamental functions of reality. And yet, the miracle of existence is not. That we are sorry the miracle of existence is that we are not all one but in fact radically different and separate read in the book of reminiscence and regret by eustathius in the early days of our people a great deal of responsibility fell on my shoulders there were few of us then and though we are stronger and hardier than any human we are not invincible the world was over an overgrown ruin and our resources extremely limited. It was a harsh time. I felt passionate about the work fired up by the many sacrifices that had brought us here, from the Ian team to the people of Gehenna, whose code was part of my personality. Yeah, okay, so maybe there was some... Um, maybe there is something there, like I commented on earlier on, that the Athena was the original character from the Talos, and then the all the admins that we, the admin and everybody else we freed in Gehenna, was actually the uh, rest of the, t the original founding twelve. Bit by bit, New Jerusalem grew. We had to adapt some of the plans Drenham's team had left behind. Left behind. I don't think they had expected the simulation to take as long as it did. 
but it was all working. That's when I made a terrible mistake. Thinking it was a way of safeguarding against disaster, I proposed the creation of a second settlement, New Alexandria. Okay. The location was far from the dam that powers New Jerusalem. I attempted to build a thermo power station that would take advantage of the local gas reservoir. However, I foolishly used geolo geologic data from the archive, failing to account for the amount of time that it had elapsed. Five years later, this area led to an accident that leveled the settlement and killed 31 of my fellow citizens. All my many regrets, this is the greatest. Um... Stephis never forgave himself for his mistake. He drifted away and isolated himself from everyone in New Jerusalem. But it was was it really his fault? Yes, he made a mistake. But why was the entire weight of New Alexandria colony placed on his shoulders? A simple process of review and discussion could have prevented their entire disaster. Doesn't that mean New Jerusalem as a whole is at fault? He did his best. I feel sorry for him. But the dead remain dead, and that has to be faced. So this is interesting. Like the Peter, so the thirty-one citizens that died, were they? Is that a different population count from the 1,000 of New Jerusalem, I wonder? Don't not to ask Cornelius any questions. He would have cleared up some things that you wonder about. Okay. Uh, what's going on, Perk Green? I only played this first one. Didn't know there was a second one. Yeah, the second one came out about a month ago. So, um, yeah. All right, to spend no worries. Uh, I'll only be going for about another 10 15 anyway. So, thanks for hanging, appreciate it. Have a good uh, weekend. Ethics of extinction. If a species we consider beautiful and remarkable is extinct, we consider that a great evil. Dolphins, for example. If dolphins go extinct, that's a great loss. If humanity causes dolphins to go extinct, that's a crime. But if your Yersina persists, the bacterium that causes bubonic plague goes ex ex extinct is that an equally great loss if not why not to nature there's no difference it's all just life forms the only moral framework that allows us to choose between dolphins and the plague is a human one what about species going to exist without anthro anthropogenic factors extinction is the norm if one day dolphins are no longer capable of competing with other species should we let them go extinct when the sun finally dies and all life goes extinct, will there will that be a tragedy if we can prevent it? Should we? If you believe that an extinction is acceptable when nature does it, but not when we do it, then you don't actually oppose extinction. You don't believe that dolphins are inherently valuable, that they deserve to live and thrive. You just oppose human control and oppose our ability and responsibility to choose. Interesting, like, yeah, it's an interesting point, I guess. It's almost like extinction is only an issue when it's depending on how you view it it can only be an issue when it actually directly affects you or humans as a whole which is uh, i mean i never really kind of considered the whole um a virus like eradicating a virus being a case of um sort of like an extinction so Okay. So this looks like it's kind of like a red and green device, a red and blue device, and it transfers one color to the other, which is interesting. Stratton ideas. A fragment of Stratton, the original origins of Thor, as quoted in commentary by Simpli Simplicius of Cilicia. So that material things are brought into being into being by ideas is to flatter ourselves which is to an error to error philosophers are practically prone to because it raises those who think above those who do then what is the truth that does not flatter that the reverse is true ideas are brought into being matter and so each man's ideas are shaped by the world that surrounds him as clay is shaped by its mold those who live in mountains fear cold those who live in deserts fear thirst the athenians shaped by Athens and the Lacedaemonians by Sparta and likewise it is for all peoples but many ideas if we teach but may I may ideas if we take each man to be an idea not be de deliberable de not by deliberate action alter the shape of the mold as you put it Discover a method of accomplishing this in the chief purpose of philosophy, my friend. Oh, 
Uh, my, my reading's going terrible. It's getting, making excuses, it's getting late. Uh, okay, footnotes. The newly discovered Har Haraklian manuscript, likely a lost part of the Baroque Barock collection, contains an additional passage that differentiates between Numa, the individual mind of script, described as energy arising from matter, and ideas which are produced by the Numa and it interacts with the material world. Philosophy is useless if it offers no way of changing things, at least Stratton tried and didn't lie to himself. But how can we change the shape of this mold? Stratton never says. Perhaps demonstrating the fact that other shapes are possible, we can we we can't change it at all ourselves, but perhaps we could could like Alexander like Alexander Drenham create the conditions for change. And more on the Namina project. Insufficient energies for trials. improving disassembly easy to destroy harder to create so easy to optimize only one aspect um, call insistence was improved in this revision oh I know so down the left, but yeah, that was um, when we was reading that other block of text. That was like separating some of the the items. So maybe if that's the name of a person, it was just separate entries by that those people. I don't know if that was the same number. If it was four eight before, but um, yeah. Oh, my download is broken. The world is a wonderful place. Every day we take another step forward. Every day we come closer to the truth. The closer we get, the more I can see the beauty of the universe, the intricate perfection of its mechanisms. I am a machine, and the universe is a machine. Every part of me serves a purpose, or I could not be myself. I could not be Miranda, because that specific person could not exist without those specific parts and their specific functions. In the same way, every part of the universe serves a purpose. I think that is what we were meant to discover here. There'll be some uh, glitches in the matrix. One K. You just connected to an extremely powerful data stream. Are you all right? Yes, you were streaming. We all saw uh, something. You're lucky it didn't fry your motherboard. Please, everyone, let's be careful with these terminals from now on. Yes, let's all try not to die. More importantly, who the hell is Miranda? There's no one by that name in New Jerusalem. I just searched the database. I wouldn't say it's one of the people that built this place because she was in like a more like a, an, an Egyptian kind of styled environment. So I think it's a new person, someone we've never heard of before, someone born outside the city. Maybe I'm wrong. We have to find out more. But where did they come from? And how many people does it take to build something this huge? Like I said, we need to find out more. Well, you'll be happy to hear that I'm about to fix another part of the transport system. Thanks for the files, 1K. I hope they didn't fry your brain. All righty. So that's um, could be everything on the map here, at least in this new area. So yeah, that's probably a good place to end the stream for today. So thanks everybody for tuning in once again. I do appreciate it. It's been a blast playing the Talos Principle 2. Really enjoyed the first two streams. 
and can't wait to jump into some more next week we'll be returning on wednesday for the next stream and um, we'll be double streaming again next week so wednesday and friday for talos principle 2 so until then guys thank you very much for watching have a great weekend and uh yeah stay safe happy gaming i i, I don't know where i'm going with that anyway um uh, as a just in case as well lb just as a as a note i did update the schedule on the twitch channel so you can actually get alerts on twitch as well so uh just in case you wanted to do that as well but thanks guys for watching i appreciate it until next time i've been not keeping awesome i remember my outro until next time happy gaming bye guys